Europe's frontiers have evolved beyond recognition since the first seeds of the Union were sown more than five decades ago. Fast forward to June 1985 and the town of Schengen in Luxembourg. Five members of the European Economic Community signed an agreement to end passport checks at their shared borders. It was the start of an extraordinary project. Now, in 2011, 25 European states have ended controls on their shared borders. The Schengen area allows the free movement of almost half a billion people. It is unique in the world. It's one of the basic ideas of the European Union that the citizens can move freely in Europe without any borders and that as a citizen you can travel from Finland to, to Malta without showing your passport. You can take your car from Portugal to Estonia. You don't even have to, to cross a border station anymore like you did only 20 years ago. And that's something that, that for the individual citizens really is something to, to protect. And it has also brought huge benefits when it comes to, to trade and business. If anything, this is what, what citizens really uh, approve in the European Union. But with that freedom came responsibility. As internal border controls were removed, the need to strengthen external borders became paramount. The Schengen chain is only as strong as its weakest link. With some 100,000 kilometers of sea borders and 9,000 kilometers on land, managing it is no simple task. Frontex was formed to assist with that role. Born in 2005, its responsibility is to help member states ensure that the EU's external borders remain open and efficient for bona fide travellers and trade. While also controlling illegal passage and cross-border crime, that means everything from intercepting stolen cars at the border to stopping human trafficking. We are trying to have our input into the criminal organizations who are abusing people. Welcome to the Frontex headquarters here in the Polish capital, Warsaw. There are around 300 people working here, many of them specialists in different fields sent by their member countries to work for Frontex. It is the nerve center of the different operations that are taking place across Europe. Making that cooperation effective is achieved through the tasks defined in the Frontex mandate. Member states dispatch experts to work as debriefers in the field, interviewing irregular migrants to gain the latest intelligence on people smuggling networks, routes and modus operandi. So that guy in Afghanistan didn't tell you how to come uh, from Greece to Italy. All Frontex operations are intelligence driven. Teams in Warsaw gather the latest information from across the globe to determine the current and future pressure points on Europe's external borders. All information that comes to the agency, to the headquarters and goes out, passes the situation center. Frontex coordinates the deployment of border guards from across the EU on Europe's frontiers. The main flows of migrants are from countries in West Africa to the Canary Islands. From Morocco and Algeria to the Spanish mainland. Across the central Mediterranean to Italian islands like Lampedusa. And across the land border between Turkey and the Greek region of Evros. Frontex coordinates and finances the deployment of physical assets, everything from spotter planes to passport scanners. Training plays an increasing role in Frontex responsibilities, developing a core curriculum for all EU border guard authorities to raise and harmonize standards throughout the EU. Forged document detection, rescue techniques, sea and mountain survival are all vital skills for frontline officers. We're right now in a situation where uncertainties are the common denominator. He's out, please! 
Sit down, please. In an unpredictable world, a situation can escalate despite the best intelligence. Migrants will migrate and facilitators will decide to support that migration process through organized crime wherever it's easier. To deal with this, Frontex has on standby specialist rapid border intervention teams, or rabbits, pulled from across the EU, ready to deploy at short notice. The first rabbit mission was in 2010 at the Greece-Turkey land border. Where the four sensors can detect a person, the heartbeat of a person, if it's on board. Frontex works with academia and the world of industry to bring cutting-edge research to Europe's 400,000 border personnel and to transmit their needs to Europe's researchers. At the annual European Day for Border Guards, the latest innovations are on show. In the field, Frontex coordinates the implementation of new technologies, improving standards for bona fide travellers across member states. Finally, Frontex assists member states when they return foreign nationals staying illegally, ensuring that respect for fundamental rights and the human dignity of returnees is maintained at every stage. Respect for human rights applies to everything Frontex does. It's one of the core values, it's one of the core starting points of Frontex and the border guard community. This means that effective border control is and will be achieved by fully respecting and promoting fundamental rights. The issue of migration is hotter than ever. There are calls for more cooperation between member states and in that Frontex could play a key role.